Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a video all about is it okay for nurses to cry? But before I get started, I wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Weave Wearables, which is a company that makes custom insoles for your shoes. Now, it's not just like any custom insole because you can actually download their app and do get your custom insoles through their app. You take some pictures of your feet and choose like the colors and pattern that you want and then they ship them right to you within 10 days. If you're like me, you've probably struggled for a long time to find shoes that actually fit your feet, that help with foot pain and leg pain and back pain. And when you're on your feet all day, it's important to have good shoes. But the key to having good shoes is to have good support, meaning to have good insoles. I have my insoles from Weave Wearables here and I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. They have my name on them and I've been wearing them for several weeks and love them. So if you're interested in checking out Weave Wearables, I will leave their link down below and there will also be a promo code. So a lot of people ask me like, hey Ashley, I'm a super emotional person. Is it okay for nurses to cry? And absolutely, it is absolutely okay for nurses to cry. I think you would be like inhuman, is that a word? You would be not human if you didn't feel some sort of emotion when it comes to being a nurse. And every field is different, but some are a little bit more sad or happy than others. And I can say that there's been several times in my nursing career where I've cried, but the, my opinion or the key to this, I guess, is there's appropriate times to cry and inappropriate times to cry. And I'll try to kind of explain what I mean by this, but um, basically, like, as a nurse, you are there for your patients and their families, and you're kind of like their rock. And, um, a lot of times they may be emotional and they need a, I don't want to say stable person, but they need someone to be there to listen for them or to them and, um, be that strong person. And as nurses, we are there when patients and their families get terrible diagnoses and news, like they have terminal cancer or they've got you know, hours left to live or there's no other treatments that can be done. And that can be very, very hard as a nurse if you've formed relationships with these patients and their family members and you become emotionally invested in them. So I think there's appropriate times to cry. I'll just give you kind of an example. I had a patient several weeks back um, who became a donor patient, meaning that this patient could donate their organs and I became very close with the family members and as I was wheeling this patient back to the OR and the family had to say goodbye, we were all in tears giving each other hugs because this was such a sad wonderful but sad moment because this was the last time that that family was seeing their loved one at least you know in their own body and warm and had a heartbeat and still alive so to speak and it was very very emotional and I was crying they were crying and that was an appropriate time to cry because we are sharing each other's pain and um oh, I know it's kind of heavy stuff I guess the best way that I can say it is that crying can be such a beautiful moment that you can share with your patients and their family members but make sure that you're still being their strong person and that the roles aren't reversed you should be comforting them not necessarily the reverse and I know there's unique situations where maybe your family is comforting you but for the most part you should be the strong rock for your patients I hope that kind of in a roundabout way answers some of your guys' questions about is it okay to cry as a nurse? So the short answer is yes, but when it's appropriate. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out Weave Wearables in the description box below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.